Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and yesterday Apple released iOS 12.4.7 to all iOS 12 supported devices that don't get iOS 13. Now yesterday Apple also released iOS 13.5. I did a video on that using this iPhone 11 Pro Max and if you haven't seen that I'll link that in the description. For, but for those that use older devices many of you asked me to do a video on this explaining what's new in it. So iOS 12.4.7 was released for not only the iPhone 5s and iPhone 6 that I have here, but also the iPhone 6 Plus, the original iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini 3, and iPod Touch 6th generation. And you can see it came in at 49.4 megabytes if you're updating from iOS 12.4.6. So if you're updating from something earlier than that, expect it to be larger. Now let's take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. The build number is 16 G one nine two. And this particular build is going to be about security. In fact, iOS 12 is not going to get any new features that we're aware of. And Apple is just nice enough to keep it updated with, with security updates, which is a great thing. Now, Apple normally updates their security website, which I'll link in the description below, but they normally update it with what has been fixed specifically. But I did do some searching around to see if anybody had had confirmed anything. And it looks like there's a couple fixes that I can confirm. One of those is the text messaging bug. So the same character bug that would crash iOS 13 and was patched in iOS 13.5 has also been patched in iOS 12.4.7. Also, along with that, they've fixed the mail daemon vulnerability. So there was a mail vulnerability. If you're using Apple's mail app, they've since patched that with this particular update. Now, as far as any other security updates, there's nothing listed. So don't expect any new features or security updates. But for those of you that are concerned about jailbreaking, the check green jailbreak will work with this particular update. So after you install this update, if you want to use that, you can, I personally don't recommend jailbreaking just because of security vulnerabilities in general. So I like to keep things updated with the latest security updates so that they're patched. But again, you could do that, but it's at your own risk. And if you don't have things like Apple pay and things like that on your device, then there's less to worry about. But if you want a very secure device, I don't necessarily recommend updating and jailbreaking, but you can do it if you'd like. Now, as far as the battery health and battery capacity, keep in mind the updates do not cause your battery health to go down, but simply recheck the physical condition of the battery inside. And I know quite a few of you will probably want to know what my iPhone six is at after a few years, and it's at 87% battery health. And this is normal for a, an older device. So 80% after two years is what Apple calls normal and until you should replace the battery. It will then tell you if you're at peak performance or not. And if you're not, you may want to replace it. Now, overall battery, this device has not been my main device. So most people that I'm seeing online have not noticed any differences with their battery life. This is mostly just a security update. And as far as performance, everything seems to be fine from going into apps and things I could find online. We're saying the same thing. So people are not seeing any huge performance changes. Scrolling is still nice and smooth, like you would expect. And also I did run a Geekbench test on this just to see what kind of performance it was getting there. And so under Geekbench five for single core, I scored 332 for multi-core, I scored 623. Now keep in mind, these numbers are going to be lower because I'm using the Geekbench five benchmarks, which has been updated with all of the recent benchmarks. Other than that though, performance should be pretty good, but don't expect any major changes with this particular update. In fact, I'm looking really forward to iOS 14 because Apple's kind of done with iOS 13, other than minor fixes and changes and things like that. iOS 14 is what should bring the major updates. And that's where you'll see the changes and what you may want to consider getting as far as a newer device, maybe an older, newer device to you, maybe an iPhone 10 R or an iPhone 10 that should support iOS 14. And so you'll have that option and you should see some updates to that. And we'll see that in June. So I look forward to those changes, but other than that, that's it with this particular update. Nothing really exciting, but there are some security fixes and things like that. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper as I always do in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.